All right, so we have the veteran Clay Guida facing the returning Marco Madsen off a 17-month layoff. And Madsen's the bigger guy. He's got a 1-inch height advantage and a 2-inch reach advantage. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the much bigger guy, like, in the face-offs. I wouldn't be surprised at a big, bigger size advantage for O'Madsen. Uh, but yeah, that's just eyeballing it, really. So, break down the striking of these two. So, yeah, most... I mean, not really. They don't really, like... Uh, Clay Guida, he likes to come forward through the counter, too. Uh, Mark O'Madsen, not really too much of a threat in the feet. He likes to press forward. He's ultimately looking for the body lock, but, you know, when he does throw hands, he, he, he kind of loops them. He throws... Big winging punches, a jab to the overhand right, step in overhand right, you know, that's what he's throwing, the overhand right. But where he's best is when he gets in close, uh, when he's able to clinch up, he's got very nice Greco-Roman wrestling throws, very strong in the body lock position, look for suplexes, wrestling ride, constant mount return attempts when he's got the wrestling ride. He's very hard to shake off once he does get that body lock. When he gets on top, he goes for short elbows with ground and pound. He doesn't have the best top control. Tries to look for damage immediately without, like, controlling the position first. Uh, but yeah, just in general, doesn't have the best top control. How these guys win fights. So for uh, O'Madson, he's got very good Greco-Roman wrestling uh, and a good chin. You know, he took a clean flying knee from, or was no, maybe not a flying knee, but a clean straight knee from Austin Hubbard in his last fight. And yeah, that told me that this guy has a good chin. Uh, for Clay Guida, he's durable, insane cardio, like, the motherfucker will just start doing, like, burpees and shit after a 15 minute fight, so, you know, he's got crazy cardio, and, yeah, it's better than, uh, O'Madson's cardio, O'Madson, he, ma he slows marginally after two rounds, he definitely does slow down in fights, uh, past the victory for these two, so, for O'Madson, press forward and get the respect, uh, early with your hands, and then, you know, that opens up the takedowns eventually. When you do get on top, look for short elbows, ground and pound, and then if you get them flat in your back, uh, just look for those short elbows and hopefully you open up a cut. I mean, Clay, Clay Guida, he has a lot of scar tissue, so potentially open up a cut there, stop the fight. For Clay Guida, don't uh, engage in the clinch, don't accept bottom position, keep trying to get back to your feet. All right, so how I see this fight going? Guida hasn't faced a wrestler in a long time. Like, I think Dennis Bermudez was the last one, and he absolutely schooled him in the wrestling department. Same with Chad Mendes when they faced each other. Like, Guida usually brings in the wrestling game plan, but he's not a high-level wrestler, like a Bermudez, like a Mendes, like a Madsen. Uh, over the past few years, Guida has relied on his wrestling to grind out fights, but it's, it's going to be hard to do here against a silver medalist in wrestling at the Olympics. And I think Guida is going to engage him in the clinch when they get close, and that's going to open up the takedown, the, the entry point for the Greco-Roman throws of Marco Madsen that he likes to use. And I think he's just going to control Guida for the majority of the fight in that position. Uh, Marco Madsen, he's training at fight ready now, which I love. Uh, some brilliant wrestlers there already, and a bunch of successful MMA fighters have come out of that gym already, like Pitbull, Cejudo, uh, Paul Acosta, I guess. Um... <laughs> But yeah, good coach, good uh, good camp there. I think Clay needs to rock him bad on the feet. He needs to land a bomb on the feet or win a very controversial split decision by landing an absurd amount of pitter-patter shots in the clinch as he's being controlled in the clinch and in the transition. So when he's being controlled, if he just starts going crazy with the volume, like just tapping him, tapping him, tapping him, you know, maybe the judges will give it to him. Uh, I don't know, but I, I do think uh, Marco Madsen's going to you know, control the positions for the most part, and just have his way with uh, Clay Guida. Alrighty, so if you guys could like the video, that'd be awesome, cheers. So the prediction is o O'Madson by decision. I think he should be quite a big favourite, you know. It's probably a little bit of value on the line. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I would bet him at this price uh, right now, but I already got, I already bet him, so I don't really need to bet him anymore. But, you know, at this price, it's fine as well. I, I think he should be around, like, minus 200 at least uh, I think he's gonna be quite dominant in this fight and and I think he's gonna have you know quite an easy time dealing with Guido